All right, the big house is becoming a dog house, you could say. Jail inmates in Gwinnett County may have what helps unwanted dogs find a loving home. CBS 46's Gravier Densa takes us inside the program that is Positively Georgia. One, yeah, that's a good shot. Roxy has changed Robbie McDaniel's right. life since becoming a part of it. We've been helping each other. Uh, she's helped me more. <laughs> Whisper. This blonde lab pit Whisper. mix has been by McDaniel's Whisper. side for the last eight months as he trains her to be matched with a forever home. And I'm acclimating her with other dogs right now. Um, there's a few in here she'll play with now. She used to, she wouldn't play with any. McDaniel is one of 75 inmates participating in Operation Second Chance, or as it's more popularly known, the Gwinnett County Jail Dog Program. Ben. Inmates are paired with dogs who end up at the Gwinnett Animal Control Shelter, where they're in danger of being euthanized. Instead, they're prepped for adoption. They do amazing work with the dog. They've even got dogs that they'll train to go against the wall so they can be fresh. Good boy. They get them over here, and within a few weeks, the dog's disciplined doesn't jump on people and sits, stays. In 2010, Sheriff Butch Conway partnered with the Society of Humane Friends of Georgia to start the program. Nonviolent offenders apply to participate, and if they're selected, they receive weekly instruction from volunteer trainers. Conway says while the department doesn't track inmate recidivism rates, he's confident the program does cut down on repeat offenders. But it gives us a vehicle to help them get there to create that change. He's even adopted a dog from the program. It's been the most positive thing I've done in 20 years as sheriff. McDaniel, who's serving time for burglary charges, says the program's given him a sense of responsibility and focus, which he didn't have on the outside when he was doing drugs. The dogs spend 24 hours a day with their handlers. The program has um, been like an inpatient rehab for me, mentally and emotionally. Um, I don't know where I'd be if she weren't, if this program didn't exist, I didn't know, I don't know where I'd be. Deputy Shannon Volkadov says inmates go on to work at pet stores or sometimes even as professional trainers. One, Shane Hawkins wrote a book about his experience that sold more than 200 copies on Amazon with a portion of the proceeds going to the program. He really came into this program with no knowledge, no experience about training dogs, and he is a great example of what this program can do. Dwayne Thomas says the hardest part is saying goodbye. He's been training Mabel for two months. Well, you know, I'm going to be happy for her at the same time. Uh, it's going to hurt me because, you know, she's not going to be in my prison, but I know she's on to a better place. So The program's adopted out more than 460 pets, and there's even a cat unit that was added five years ago to the female inmate division. If you're interested in adopting a jail dog or cat, just tap on the CBS 46 app for more details. I'm Gervier Denza for CBS 46 News.